Hi everyone, I am Jedida Chalufia, your instructor, and welcome to our pre-class week one of our summer course. So in this video, we're going to talk about um, about the activities that we have for this um, first week and um, the instructions for receiving your first home lab kit and the activities that you're going to do with the home lab kit. Okay, so um, by July the 14th, Wednesday, you should have um, started receiving your first home lab kit. And so I have mine here. We're going to go through what's in here and the activities that we have assigned for this week. Okay, so when you open your home lab kit, um, you should find a little note um, from me just about like what the kit is about and um, general instructions um, about the home lab kit and also a list of um, our different experiments and what you should expect to find in this kit and those ones should be in bold. Okay, so when you get that note, the, well, the first thing you should get is um, the zipper bag which has gloves. And so gloves are very important um, to use as a scientist. These are important um, personal protective equipment. And so whenever you're working with anything, just wear the gloves. So I already have um, set here. And so the first thing is open the ziplock bag and get um, a pair of gloves. You should have plenty and extras um, um, for the entire course. Okay, so these are medium sized gloves. They might be a little loose for some and a little tight for others and that's okay. They are a little loose for me. Okay, and the next thing that you're gonna get from there is um, a sterilizing agent, ethanol or ethyl alcohol. And um, here we have it in the form of a liquid but it can also come in a form of um, wipes, alcohol wipes. And the key is that it has to be 70% for it to be effective as a sterilizing agent. And so you want to use this to sterilize your surface. So whatever bench or table you decide to do your experiments on, uh, just like find a good enough space and where like, you know, you can put like your device for the Zoom meetings or for um, your phone, your, your, um, your tablet, your computer. Um, in front of you and have enough space you want to sterilize that space so if you have the liquid form just like um it's like open up a little bit and um that's a little too much you just want to kind of like have it like spray so you spray your area and then just get like um household paper towel from the kitchen from the bathroom and just kind of like wipe your area in like one direction okay so it's going that way uh, yeah and once you're done with that then you can trash that out actually actually before that the first thing you want to do is you just want to sterilize your your hands so you just put a little spray and then sterilize your glove and then you can sterilize um, your area and alcohol wipes again 70% Active ingredient is ethyl alcohol. I'm not sure if you can see that. And yeah, so you just like open it up and if there's gonna be a seal, you have to you probably have to get something sharp to open that. Okay, so take out your first one. First wipe, cut it off, and see yeah, I make sure it's like back there and the same way you you will then like sterilize your gloves and then get an, get another one and then sterilize your workspace okay and then those are going to trash so my trash is over here okay so that's your sterilizing agent and then you're gonna have um three pots that are like stacked together and with the accompanying tray so these pots have like little holes at the bottom for like aeration and just like allow the water to percolate when you when you water your plants okay so i'm gonna separate those out and put our three pots okay um and then yeah so then another thing that you're gonna have is you're gonna have um safety goggles okay so uh, personal protective equipment for your eyes and so I'm gonna put that on I'll take this mine uh, this off 
so depending on like what type of frame that you have you might keep, keep if you wear glasses like me you can actually keep those glasses on and just put these safety goggles on top of them but for me i can't actually do that okay so i have my glasses and you might have like um different color um frames of these safety glasses all right Another thing you're going to have here, you're going to have a sheet of labels. And so, um, as a scientist, it's very important for you to label everything that you have. Like, you know, this um, ethanol, it has a label. Um, the gloves, like, they have a label. And eventually, you also have to label your um, your pots. So, you have, like, these um, sticky strips of labels um, to use for um, your experiments. Okay? So, you have the labels over there. And you're also going to have a Ziploc bag which has seeds, okay? Legume seeds, um, and we're going to talk about those in a moment. And then another thing you're going to have is you're going to have a little envelope um, with a, a, a powder. And that's going to, um, it has a label that says commercial inoculant. So commercial inoculant is simply a powder which contains um, good bacteria that we know um, that provides nitrogen for legume plants so the plants can actually grow okay so that's what you have and the last thing you're going to have in your home lab kit um, are digging tools so this came together as a set but really you all, all you need are just like these two items so these two are what you're going to need to to dig and as you collect your soil okay right yeah so um, this is what you should expect to find in your lab uh, in your home lab kit your first one and if for some reason something is missing please let me know send me an email which is in the course syllabus and on Moodle and so um, uh, our next video is going to talk about what you actually need to do with this first uh, with this um, lab kit but also by the time you're receiving this home lab you should think about two different locations where you're going to collect your soil from okay so with microbiology we know that microorganisms such as bacteria fungi viruses they are everywhere including in the soil okay but we don't expect every soil to have the same kind of bacteria depending on many different factors one location is is going to have a different um, type of microorganisms or like microflora compared to the other and these factors will depend on like geography the activities that happen um, in a location you know is it like a busy place is it like um, a farm is it a place with a lot of construction is it a place with a lot of like human activity is it a park is it um, your front yard is it your backyard and so all those different things will actually affect what kind of micro microorganisms you're going to have in that area and so Think of two different places and plan where you're going to get your two um, types of soil okay and this is very exciting because you are all in different places right you all live in different um, places and so each of you are going to choose different uh, locations and those ones are going based on like whatever uh, different factors um, around that area we should expect to find different bacteria and so each of you is going to have is going to make like a unique discovery of what kind of bacteria might be in whatever location okay so think about that because on thursday because on thursday you should collect the soil from those two locations and instructions for how to collect that soil will come up in the next video all right so see you in the next video